Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts and we are back today to show this belly band and how I made a pocket belly band and this little matchbook style notebook that goes inside. So let's take a look at that. I've put some ledger sheets inside to write on. So here we go and I put a little hanging thing on here so it can be placed in your book. It still provides a an outer part here or you can slide it all the way in. Now if you want to slide it all the way in I suggest you make it a little bit smaller and then perhaps angle cut this like an envelope instead of uh, rounding it like um, like I did here. So anyway let's get busy and get that made. I will start my timer just so I can time myself. Oh, it says time's up. Reset. There we go. Okay, this is my faux, faux eight and a half by 11. It's, it is actually an eight and a half by 11, but it's my faux book page. We did this yesterday and I did do this backwards, like I said. So make sure when you go to do it that you put the long side across here long piece here and shorter uh, this will still be the same width under here but switch these although if you do it matchbook style it still works perfect so either way it doesn't really matter um, you just want that to fit in there and if you need me to do another tutorial on it and make it simpler please tell me and I will do that I'm happy to. Okay, so we have our page here today and we want to put a belly band over here like this. Ta-da! We're done. See? That's all there is to it. Not enough? Okay. I'm just kidding. Let's make it. So what I have done, I will need to get another piece of paper. Here's this one. Let's use it. Oh, no, I don't want to. I don't know where I got these. I think I just like them and, pick, and, and purchase them at some point. Um, because they have cards on them, and I think I, I wanted the vintage out a look of the tags and stuff. But I may have to give that up. So the first thing you need to do is figure out how wide you want your belly band. This one is, I think it's three inches. Let's measure it right here on my dirty countertop. Well worked, well loved, well worn. Okay, one, two, three inches wide. So we're going to make a piece that is six inches wide plus about a half of an inch to fold under. See that? Eee, 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 eee. Squeaky door. So um, let's use this piece and we want it to be three, six and a half inches long to go this way on your book. It's on the horizon. If you want it on the vertical, you're going to do the same thing, except for this is going to be eight and a half inches tall by three inches wide or whatever you choose to make it. And then you're going to make a nice long writing tag to put in there and perhaps maybe not the matchbook style, but you could. It would be simple enough with a 12 inch piece of paper and you could make some really cool things. Oh, I've got all kinds of ideas for this one. Honestly, I'm not gonna do them today, but I might, might work on that. Okay, S let's see if this is even wide enough to do anything with. Ooh, it's, it's really not. It's not even wide enough to go on my thing here, is it? Let's see. 
Oh yeah, it could be, yes. Okay, three, six, and six and a half, I think is what we said. Clean some stuff up here. Okay, six and a half is right there. Hope that's right. It just feels wrong. It does. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. Let's. Um, you can measure this, or you can just fold it over to get your half inch, fourth inch, three quarters of an inch. You decide. I really just want would like this thing to be wide enough to house a nice long tag or something for my my uh, matchbook here. You're only going to glue on one side yet it's going to be nice and open on the inside except for at the bottom is going to get glued. So here we go. Now all I'm going to do here is fold this piece back towards me so that it becomes flush with the piece in here. The piece under it. See that? And that made just a quarter inch. So now I've got an even little bit wider one. Now I want you to cut the these little angles here from the fold out just like that and before you cut the, the top one come over to your page and say "Ooh, it's not gonna fit so we're going to cut this end off finding my scissors now in the fold situation you want to leave a little bit of space over here for your signature. If it's like a front page, you want to take up the whole thing, you could. But, well, this one probably would be the cover on, of a signature. So, okay, let's do it. Let's go right to the edge on this one. We're going to cut that off right there where we measured it on our paper. Now you might have a different size paper. That's why I'm not really giving um, dimensions, so to say. I'm going to tell you how to do it without dimensions, but just to kind of get an idea that you want it to be three, three and a quarter inches wide or something like that. If you want a thinner one, you can do that. You saw how I folded it. I just folded it over, left a little piece, and then I folded that right up against here. Okay, now we're going to clip this little corner from the fold out. There we go, we've got two nice little pieces there. Okay, now if you put this on the inside, um, you're not going to have to worry too much about the next part. If you put it on the outside, like I'm going to do, that means this is going to be the top of your belly band. Now why would I say that? Well I say that because if this is at the bottom, right here, when you put your things in, they're going to get caught up, just like this one is, on this little lip right here. Even though we're going to glue it down, it's going to get caught up on it. So you're going to place it up at the top, like this. Okay? The reason I want it on the outside is because I, even though it would leave the same amount of space because it's got a fold, I just want it to be really spacey without getting caught up on anything. 
Yesterday I was kind of off my game. Um, I apologize for that. That's why I say if you want me to redo that um, belly band from yesterday, I would be more than happy to. Um, I don't know. I was just I really was off my game yesterday. I don't know. I guess there's days like that, you know. <laughs> we want to be in our craft room, but our craft room says, hey, you need to exit. And that's what my craft room was doing to me yesterday. Telling me to get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, so we have our three inches. Well, it's a little more than three. It's like three and a fourth, three and a sixteenth. But if I divide this between my three inches and it hangs over a little there and a little there, I know the center is going to be approximately right there by just dividing it between these lines. Let a little hang over this line and a little hang over that line. And then, of course, your center is right dead set in the middle. Open it up. Hello. Hello. I'm playing. Okay. Put this in here. And give it a little thumbnail notch. And now come down here and you're going to glue the bottom. Now if you want the bottom to have lots of space as well, you would fold a little piece of paper over. And cut it. You'd want it to fit inside of there. That would fit. It's a little short, but it'll work. I'm not afraid to have a hole in the base. I'm going to cut it right to that edge. Just like that. Now if you want to put it on the outside, perhaps you would leave it with a different color. But I'm going to put mine on the inside. I'm going to just squish it in there. And this is going to give me the whole length of the envelope for my tag or my little matchbook notebook. Okay, so we're going to open it up. Slide that in. It's not the same size. It's only a little bit smaller. Just going to push it down. Push that in. And there we go. Just rub that in. And you see that there's not much of a hole down there. Now, before you go any further, make sure there is no glue in there. I should have put like a piece of wax paper maybe in there before I put that in. But hey, it works okay. I need a little more glue right here on the edge. Okay. Now, we have our pocket belly band. This goes at the top so nothing catches up on it. So we're going to approximately make it in the center here. This will go along this edge and of course that will go on that edge because our thing pulls out this way. Now I like to leave just a little bit uh, um, I like to take up just a little bit extra room for these belly bands with the glue just so that they stay adhered better. So keep that in mind with your belly band that maybe you want to make it just a little thicker with the glue just to secure it just that much more. So let's put this, I'm going to open this up like this because these little metal things are kind of getting in the way. I'm going to go right to the edge over here 
and it will come right to the edge over here. Now that's probably really honestly it's probably a big mistake putting it that close to the edge. So I would I would come back at least a sixteenth of an inch and not put it up to the edge because even if it's a cover page it's going to get that little bit of bend in it you know that happens with things and um, the other pages are going to push it out see like that so I would take it down that sixteenth of an inch maybe so sometimes having belly bands go the other way are better but we're going this way darn it okay now how do I make that really cute matchbook thingy well I made it kind of like this one here it is right here and um, I folded it kind of funny to get this extra piece here and to get the edge to stick up here because I wanted the raggedy edge of the file um, ledger sheet there. Now we don't have to do it that way. Here's one that I have given a couple of extra folds up here just to thicken it up. It's a double thickness in here so you could leave it like this and put the secret note in there if you wanted. Uh-huh, more secrets. Oh my goodness. Aren't we the secret group? So you could put an extra little note in here. Let's just throw in these little tags. Look at that. Nobody even knows they're there. See? But we might want to use those on something else. So we'll come back to that. It's up to you. You can close it up or you can leave it open to put something inside. Now this is an old ledger sheet and it is dirty. Um, so how did I get that size? Well what I first did was I measured this. Let me grab one. I took this and folded it in half. Now this one is not nearly as wide but let's use it as an example here. Um, I'm going to put this on the inside so that they can write down the center. So what I did was that's going to be the, the inside but I'm going to first fold it this way so I can get my the size correct. Okay you want it to come up about a fourth of an inch from the bottom and you are about a fourth of an inch from the top. Okay? And then you're going to go oh you can go let's see you could go I don't know fold it at about a half an inch like that it's going to stick out this way. You decide how far you want it to stick out. There we go. Now, what about all this extra? Well, some of it I took way back. Oh, I think it's going to be too far. Let's see. Some of it I took and folded it over so it's nice and thick right down there. Makes a good um, kind of tab there. See? I think on this other one I folded it one more time under. So let's do that. Let's see, it goes to there. And that's going to stick out a little bit. Yes, okay. So then this piece, 
I'm going to fold over to the back. And see where it comes to there, to this line. And then I'm going to cut some of that off. Then I have some extra left over that I'll use as fodder for the other stuff. See? Just cut it off about a half of an inch wide, three quarters of an inch. Now let's measure where we're going to put our um, staple. I'm using the tiny attacher, the Tim Holtz tiny attacher. Oh, I don't know. Probably right there. Ta-da! That's going to go in there. But now we need some paper on the inside. And I happen to have some over here. We can put in there. No. Going to have to cut it down the side a little bit. Got to look at my time. I'm cooking dinner tonight. So let's put in three sheets. Two, three. Now that one is going to be too wide for this one. So shall we switch over to here? Oh, this is for the shorter pocket, I'll bet. It could, it doesn't matter how long you make it. Let's go ahead and use this one. So we are going to need to cut this off a little bit. I'm going to flip this over and draw a quick line on it so that I know I need to cut it down there. Just a little smaller than that. And then I stapled this little piece right in the center. There. I opened up the matchbook and I glued this down in here. This is too long. I'm going to have to cut these off. I'm just kind of measuring as I go, guys. Um, no big measuring today for me. Okay, going to put that in there. We want it to be inside of this so it's not getting caught up on anything in that inside that envelope. I do want a little decoration there. Um, do I want a number? Do I want, oh, I want this, I'll bet. This little flower right here. So to measure that one without measuring, I'm just going to draw a line on this side and this side that makes it the width of that or close. And I'm gonna chomp it off. Yay. There we go. That dresses it up a little bit. Put this under there. This is going to go here, just like that. And now we have a cute little matchbook. If you want to make this a little firmer, then I suggest you find another piece of fodder. Fitter fodder. Hello, father. Hello, mother. Sorry. Okay. It's a little crooked, so I'm going to cut it off a little straight. Oh. Ooh, let's go that way. I like that. 
Okay. Oh, I just put glue on that side. Oh well. I like the other side too. Can't go wrong with the green. Okay. So there we go. We've got that and that and that and that and that. Okay, now we have this secret little pocket that we just came up with. So what do we want to do here? We know it's going to be on this side. Oh dear, we've got a secret pocket. We better put a secret letter in it. Why are we hiding this letter? I don't know. But I know we like our secrets. So here we go. That's right. Top secret. It could be top secret. If you want to pretend that you're a spy, you could do that. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to put this in there as a private letter. Something I want to write to myself that I want to stay confidential and I don't know. It's just private. It's a private note. So inside it goes. Tuck these all under. Now this feels like it's kind of weak too, and I tried to stiffen it up. So how I did that was the same way. I found an extra piece of paper. Um, I have some over here. But these I picked out to go behind here. There we go. Now we need something maybe right there. I guess we have some of this left. Now, I made it so it had a thing that stuck out. That's kind of up to you. Oh, let's see what we got. Oh, we do have some more of that. Oh, that one's too cute. Oh, that goes with that. Oh, this one can go. Oh, I like that, don't you? Let's do that. And what we'll do is we'll fold it over just like that. There we go. Then we'll come back here and we will go just like that. And We'll find our little one. We're going to put this right on there. Just like that. And we're going to glue it down. Let's cut that edge off. Don't need the whole thing there. Side. Yeah, there's all sorts of ways you can do these things. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot, actually. Belly bands are cool because you can do so many different things with them. Um, you can make pockets in them and notebooks and both. You can have a secret pocket in there. So let's see if this fits. And it does. Oh boy, it's tight though. Not tight, but I mean, it just gets to the bottom right there. So you might not want it to stick out that far. I think it sticks out too far. Um, 
you might want it in the very front of your book where the outside cover is bigger but that's too big too big let's try this one oh yeah much better let's go with this one but you can see then I need to fix this one up and put my secret note in here and I need some paper in it so I might fold over some of this and say will you fit in there and it says well okay go ahead put me in so we would put that in there it gives us an extra little journaling spot and perhaps we'd stick this one in there too we're going to staple it so it doesn't have to be the same size. A uh, tiny attacher. There we go. A little bit of glue. That glues this in here. Now we have some writing space. Oh, we're going to have to cut some of that off. Oh my goodness. Nope, I'm going to have to cut some more off. That wasn't straight anyway. There we go. Of course, now look, I am really making a mess out of things. This tucks in to there. You can decorate the outside if you like. I'm just going to. Oh, and we got to put our secret in. So we need a secret note. Here it is. So let's fold this over. This one can be a little wider because that's wider. over and let's see how long it is oh we didn't need to fold it over open this up push that in there and we're going to cut that off up there there we go fold that in got our secret 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 letter in there something personal and then you can decorate it up however you like and you slide it in there and you have this beautiful little vintage pocket with a beautiful little um, I'm gonna put this on top of it just like that if you wanted you could make it a pocket as well I'm just going to glue it on there. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to glue it down. Just for decoration sake. There we go. And look at that. We have some really cute things in there going on. Got some postcards. And we've got this cute little thing on here that's crooked. We like crooked it. We like to crooked it. <laughs> Don't we? Um I need to, I really, I need to put something over that, to be honest with you. Um, well, 
Well, I don't need to do it that bad. What I need to do is go cook dinner. That's what I need to do. Well, that one's too cute too, but I've kind of cut this one off. Let's see what we can do here. So right about here. Give it a little fold. And then um, is it? Oh, here it is. And look, my handle's half gone. I'm going to use a half inch cut on each end. There we go. Then I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to let it stick out just slightly because when I put my hole through it for the um, dangle to hang on it, I want it to um, stick out just slightly. Because, I'm going to tell you why, just give me a second. Because I don't want to go through the staple that is here. I don't want to go past that. Because then I get into my little notebook and my secret note. I wonder if I stapled it in there, guys. No, I didn't. I already did that part. Now let's put that hole in there. It's coming out this side, so this hole is going to go towards the bottom. And it will go through the... Clear through even this paper and not past the staple that is there. And then we find our beautiful little eyelet, and we must have one that's about this color. Of course not. So we'll go with kind of a grayish white. Not that one. There we go. That's the one. We could go with black, red, pink. We could do pink. Or we could go back and pick up the same metal that we used on the other side of the card. But no sense in doing that. We're moving into new things here. So there we go. And there is your hanger to hang. You could use a bulb pin. That would be great. But let's put that in here. I hope I was on camera. And I hope this was helpful. And did I get both belly bands? Yes, we did. One on Wednesday, one on Thursday. Yeah, let's get this stuff out of the way so you can see it. So we could go back here and take a look and say, oh, oh yeah, I did put something decorative in there. Good girl, Ange. Whew. So glad. I was worried. And this one is too big. This is going to take something small. So okay, this one is the matchbook style too because I made a mistake yesterday. But there we go. Oh, we could just keep going and going and going. But I'm not going to. I'm going to stop because I have to make dinner. Anyway, there are both belly bands, and I sure appreciate you hanging out with me today and helping me come up with some ideas. And here is that one, if we need to see it. This one you could just put in as a little corner tuck. Cool. We can use it too. 
excellent for us. So let's just put some things around the table and call it good. I think it's good, good, good. We got good things going on. Yeah, I really like it. I think it looks great. Okay, thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know if you want me to redo this one and get it right the second time. Um, it still worked out. It, I, I told you I made a mistake and, and we fixed it. So maybe you can do it right and you tell me that you got it right. All right, guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope that you each have a great afternoon, a great evening, and a fantastic weekend coming up. It's going to be nice weather here in Oregon, and I'm going to be doing some yard work. But it's what I want to do. All right. Love you guys. Have a good evening. Bye.